Hey guys, this is Woody. Today we're going to go over top spin forehand and top spin backhand in Racket Club VR. If you're like me, that has pretty much no racket sport experience and just jump right into the game, we often reserve to what we call is patty caking, and that just means flat handing, right? You're just hitting the ball normally, which is totally okay and a totally acceptable strategy, but one thing you might think is like, how do I get better at the game? Or how do I have more fun at the game? And that's adding spins to your ball. Um, one, one reason is that you will have more arsenal at your disposal, right? To kind of take your opponent off pace. And another one is just have more fun, man. It just, it's a lot more stylish and fun when you have all these different shots in your arsenal instead of just basically patty kicking. With that being said, let's get started. Uh, so, first of all, is top spin forehand. What essentially is, is you want to interact your racket with the ball on the top of the ball. And you're pretty much slicing on the top of the ball like this, right? Glancing at the ball. So this is pretty much the motion. And to do this, the easiest way to do this is just literally move your elbow up like this. All right, so there we go. There we go, three times in the game. And now I'm gonna show on the, ca on the main camera. This is my front view of it. One, two, three, all right. And then this is the side view of it. All right, let me give you a good side view. One, two, ooh, didn't hit, three, all right? One more for good luck. All right, the third one. And this is gonna make up a lot of your gameplay. Right, so I would say 50% of the trick shots that I do is, or I see a lot of players too, is uh, forehand, right? Forehand top spin, because this is one of the easiest way to change the pace of the game without risking too much like the other shots. And the beauty, so use case for the shot, is number one, if you hit it straight down your opponent, right? If you hit it straight down of your opponent's leg, a good, solid top spin, right? It's going to bounce really far off the back forward. So especially if your opponent's playing all the way in the back, suddenly they have to change the pace and move forward. All right, and it's that kind of play that could potentially throw your opponent off balance. A second way, right, a second way, I'm still trying to perfect this is on the side, on the board. Right? You wanna land pretty much right there. Okay, you wanna land somewhere right there, right? So a lot of times a good player, they're gonna hit the ball in the corner, right? Like in the corner, this corner or that corner. So if they're getting to my dominant side, this is where I'm gonna use the top spin, right? Top spin forehand. And my goal is to hit as low as possible on that backboard with a good spin so the ball bounces really low. With a good one, which I don't think I can do it right now, it's going to roll right off that sideboard right there. That's a better one. So that is what we're practicing. So two use cases. Number one, hitting straight down your opponent's lane, right? Second one, it's going from the side and try to bounce it right off the wall, especially if your opponent is hitting it at this angle right here. With that being said, that is the forehand, and you're gonna use this a lot. So if you're just patty caking, right? And then suddenly you're like, you know what? I wanna practice, I wanna practice some. Start trying to swing that forehand whenever you get a good opportunity, right? You can always forehand off the board as well, right? right? Top spin forehand off the board as well, you can go straight. With that being said, let's go to top spin backhand. What essentially it is, is top spin forehand is on this side and top spin, uh, top spin backhand is on this other side. And same, same philosophy, you're glancing your racket, right, to the ball, like that. And your arm motion right here, this is how it looks like in VR, right here. One, two, three, all right. In camera, this is how it looks like. One, two, three. And then we're gonna get, let's get a side angle. Let's do it this way. One, two, and three. So 
That is topspin backhand. So use case for topspin backhand. Um, this is a pretty uncommon one, but you could bounce it off the side wall when you serve. Okay, so that's a pretty simple one, right? And then you just hit the ball back to your opponent. So once again, a lot of good players like to they like to hit it right in the corner for you. So what you want to do is you want to hit on the opposite side of the top spin forehand. You want to just hit on the opposite side. So a lot of times they'll hit it right here. And what you're going to do is you want to return it. And you want to hit it once again as close as the bottom of the side wall on that side as possible. Right? And you literally want the ball to kind of just roll it off. So sometimes, right, that one's decent. That was too high. Right? So that's what we're practicing. All right, guys, that sums up topspin forehand and topspin backhand. If you have any questions, feel free to leave in the comment down below. This is Woody. I hope this has been helpful. Until next time, peace out, champ.